common ANA derivatives that students have trouble with. And I, I think we'll all, if I could show you where these rules come from, it'll make it a lot easier. So we'll come back to these, but we're going to start with the ANA derivative of du over a squared plus u squared, because I think you've got it that the ANA derivative of dx over 1 plus x squared. That was just the arc tangent, right? Of x. You remember that? And the antiderivative of bx over the square root of 1 minus x squared is just going to be the arc sine of x. Right? You, you don't know those? Uh-oh. Well, you will. But it's on your packet, but you'll want to memorize them for BC test if you're doing the BC. They'll want you to memorize it. But here's the transition that students are having trouble with. What if this isn't a 1? What if it's a different number? So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to remember this, but I'm going to use this. So I'm going to go, all right, um, and a derivative, du. I'm going to pull out an a squared and make this u over a squared. Give you a chance to write that down. Please write it down. See how I did that algebraically? Okay. Now, du over a squared, 1 plus u over a quantity squared. Next thing that you're going to do is you're going to say, all right, I'm going to let u over a be equal to something we're going to call w. And what's the derivative with respect to, to uh, u here? If I took the derivative of this, what's dw equal to? a is a constant, so we'd go 1 over a times du, right? You okay with that? So in order to do this antiderivative, I need a 1 over a to go backwards. Am I losing it? Losing it? Really? What am I losing you for? This is my w here. I want it to look kind of like this. Well, let's not use w. Let's use x. Maybe that's easier. Because then it'll look like this. Uh, dx, like that. All right, so see how we want to get a dx over 1 plus x squared? Now I have a, now this is going to look a lot closer. So, du, let's see, du, oh, I see what I did. I did this backwards. du times 1 over a is equal to dx. There we go. So I have a du. Do I have a 1 over a in this? I do. So there's a, the problem isn't the 1 over a. It's that I have an extra 1 over a. That's my problem. So I have a 1 over a, du over u. That's going to be 1 over a. Let me use the color. This is going to be equal to 1 over a. And then this is all going to be dx over 1 plus x squared. dx, because those two together make the dx, 1 plus x squared. Now, what happens here when I take the antiderivative? I get 1 over a arc tangent of what? u over a, or x plus c. Do you see that if I have this uh, a in here, you're going to get a 1 over a out the front. So if I had an example like, the, oh, let's go to the one that we had at the top. a is the square root of 16, which is 4, and u is equal to x. So the antiderivative, using my formula, 1 over a will be 1 over 4 arc tangent of u, which is x over 4 plus c. 
And if you take out your pink packets, can you find that antiderivative of du over a squared plus u squared? You see it? Is it equal to 1 over a times the arc tangent of u over a? Does that look right? Yep, that's right. And when I did that antiderivative, it's that extra 1 over a that kind of makes it a little weird. But that works out. So there's the formula for arc tangent of u squared over uh, a squared plus u squared. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the other one, the arc sine one. Now with this guy, something different is going to happen. This is the square root of a squared minus u squared. So this time I'm going to pull out an a squared du. And I get square root of a squared times 1 minus u over a squared. And what's the square root of a this time? What's the square root of a squared? A, right? So the square root of a squared is a. And now I get the square root of 1 minus u over a squared. Like that. Go with that x idea again, where x was u over a, dx is 1 over a du, and I have du over a, so this is going to be dx over square root 1 minus x squared, and what's that antiderivative going to be? What's the antiderivative of dx over square root of 1 minus x squared? The arc sine of u over a. So what's weird about this, now look at your um, look at your pink packet. Do you see a 1 over a in front of the arc sine? No, it shouldn't be because when we took the square root of a squared, we pulled out a, a single a, and the du over a that drops out makes it so there's no 1 over a in front. So that when you just go ahead and do your antiderivative of this, a is equal to square root of minus 3, u is equal to x, you're going to get the antiderivative of this is going to be arc sine of x over 3 plus three. And there's no 1 over 3 out in front. So that's how you go about doing the antiderivative of arc tangent and arc sine with an A in front. So I'm going to give you two practice ones that you can do at home. Example, uh, antiderivative of 5 over the square root of 7 minus x squared. Dx, that's a good one. And then I'm going to give you this guy. This is um, 4x squared over the square root of 25, wow, 25 plus x to the, huh, 4, there you go, give those a go, there's the answer.